Okay, one thing I gotta get across to you guys right away is InDesign is for page layout design. And a lot of times, what that means is multiple pages, not just a one page flyer, but a document, a magazine, a newspaper, a annual report, a periodical. You're gonna be working on multiple pages. So I wanna show you in my chapter three InDesign files, working shortcuts. So I'll go to file and open. I'm gonna come down to chapter three and we'll move this over, workflow shortcuts. And I'm gonna to go to page or folder one, navigating pages. So I put together a multi-page document here. So we'll give that a second to open up. Uh, use some different goofy fonts here. I'm just gonna close that. I don't really care about the fonts in this one right now, but I'm working on a little guide. Yes, I am a Ninja Turtle collector. So I've created this little visual collector's guide for collecting and completing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figures and their accessories from 2003, this should say to 2012, but whatever. Notice when I scroll down here, I have to scroll and scroll and scroll. Okay, if I look at my pages panel and pull this out, I can pull the bottom edge down. I've got all these pages, 11 pages. Okay, this is a very shortened version of my book. My book is actually about 300 pages, but I, I don't remember what was on page one or page six. Okay, and that's too small to really look at. So if I wanted to jump back to page one, instead of scrolling all the way up, and then pulling all the way down. If I kind of have an idea, hey, I wanna check out that character on page eight. If I click, that's not gonna do anything. Okay, first thing I gotta do is double click. That will take me to that page. But, you know, if these are so small, I can't even tell what's on there. What I can also do is simply hit Command J. That means jump. So I know I did some typing on page five. I wanna go to page five and hit return. There we go. I'm on page five. See, I started this book in 11 years ago. Um, 2009, you're, that's ridiculous. I gotta change that. But I also went through my boxes and found, I think I missed a part for this guy that I remember was on page 11. So command J to jump down to page 11 and there I am so just be aware of that okay you can go to layout and go to jump back up to the first page go to the previous page so now I'm on page 10 layout I can go to the next page the last page the previous spread there's the previous spread right there but I have to keep pushing this and then coming down here where I can also go to layout and pages and I don't know if that really gives me that. Let's see, no, that's moving pages around. I just wanna move around. So right here, all of this takes place instead of Command J. I think Command J is easier. Command J, page two. Great, there's nothing on page two. Okay, Command J, page seven. And there we go. So just be aware you have Command J to jump through multi-page documents here in InDesign. And like I said before, the reason why I hit W for preview is I don't like looking at all these boxes and link, it's a link, it's a link. I know, I know, I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. I work in InDesign, I know these are links. So I hate looking at those things. I don't like designing that way, so I hit W. And I just work like that most of the time. It gives me a nice, clean look at what I'm designing here in an InDesign document. But I don't like to scroll and scroll and scroll unless I have a short document, maybe 10 pages. But if I've got 80, I don't wanna hold space bar for my hand tool and scroll and scroll and scroll through 76 other pages. That's ridiculous. 
Command J and I jump to the page. You also have way down here in the lower left corner, this little page pop-up list. So this is another way to jump around through your document. I'll jump to page three and there's my intro title page, jump down to page eight. So that's a yet another way to jump through pages in a document. But if this is 100 pages, you're gonna have a page list that goes way up here. So you can use this page list, you can use your pages panel, you can use your layout menu and jump around. But I think the quickest one above all those is just Command J to jump. Keep that in mind.